Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to change the armor colors in the latest snapshot. Uh, because you're currently limited to these colors right now, the uh, dye colors, obviously. Uh, if you're a map maker and you want to set, say, like a really pink pink, then you'd have to, say, wait until Mojang releases a pink pink dye. But uh, you can change it now using a... Uh, editor called NBT Edit, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, the link to download NBT Edit will be in the description. All right, now we're uh, in NBT Edit. Uh, hold on, I'm going to open this up again so I can show you how it works. But uh, you open your level.dat. You can find your level.dat in the save folder, and then inside the save name, and you go to uh, the saves folder inside. Uh, AppData.Minecraft, and of course, uh, if you've installed the snapshot, you should know where that is. Uh, you go to Data, and then Player, and then Inventory. Now, for me, the bottom four are the armor uh, slots, because I put the armor inside those slots. So I'm going to open those up and open every uh, subdirectory in there up. Now, as you can see, it says color, and then it has a code. Now, that code is the uh, decimal value for the color. So, uh, I've already chosen some colors here. The first color I'm going to have for my helmet, because the helmet is the uh, bottom one, and then it goes to the chest piece, and then the uh, pants, and then the boots. So, it goes helmet, chest piece, pants, boots. So uh, I'm going to change the color value here to this color value right here. And that will turn my helmet into that purple color. Now I'm going to go to my next color. I'm going to turn my chest piece into this color. Like so. And again to a new color, this bloody red. And I'm going to change that. And these are my pants. And let's just pick another color for the boots. Say this green color. Now again, many of these colors may be similar to the dyes in Minecraft, but if there's really a color that you need, of course you can find it on this website, colorhexa.com. I'll put a link in the description. So now that we have all our colors set to the decimal values, uh, we can go to File, Save or the save button right here, and we'll head back into Minecraft. All right, now we're back in Minecraft, and as you can see, the colors that we picked are the colors that are set to our armor pieces. So this would be very useful for, say, making an adventure map where you wanted a very specific color for the armor. And perhaps in the future, whenever Mojang releases more colorful items, it may be using the same method. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Please check out some of my other tutorials, and uh, overall, just have a nice day.